Yeah, I was calling to get some information. Michael, how long have you been selling for? Uh, I don't know. Do you think it was important that we should ask for the customer's name at the beginning of the call or at the end of the call? I'll be coming with that payback. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Trust me, you don't want to face that adrenaline. I crave. All right, guys, Andy Elliott. Today, I'm going to talk to you about competence creates confidence. All right, now listen to me. If you want to be the best, if you want to be the greatest in the world at whatever it is you're doing, you need to watch this full video, okay? This video is going to be bad. And I'm making this specifically for you so you can see the journey of me from my last five years and some things that I've done, how we've grown, and literally why a lot of people right now aren't growing. So this video is going to show you how to win and it's going to show you if you're losing, why you're losing. So number one, I put this down. Are you the best at what you do? Are you the best. So I'm going to clip right now to a video of a guy taking a phone call in a car dealership. Now, by the way, everybody understands this. I've trained 500,000 people around the world in all different industries, but I'm using an automotive example and I'm willing to bet this phone call that you're about to watch, this individual that took the call thought they were the best in their dealership and I bet they are the best. And after you watch this, do you think they're the best? Check this out. Calling Jim Glover Chevrolet. Yeah, I was calling to get some information on a vehicle I saw on the internet. Okay, one moment. All right, let's see if we get a pro. Thanks, Colin. Jim Glover, this is Michael. Hey, Michael, I was calling to get some information on a car I saw on the internet. Hello? Yeah, I was calling to get some information on a car. Oh, yeah. Hang on just two seconds. Yeah. What, uh, what vehicle are we looking at? Are new or used? Um, a used one. It was a 2023, uh -huh. a 2023 Chevy Malibu. You guys think you'll get my name? About 37,000 miles. 30,000 miles. I'm sorry. Uh, stock number r 64 you guys think we'll get my name? I don't think so. This is why you have to walk your inventory. Like, I, if I was a manager of a car lot, I wouldn't even let anybody come in to the inside the building unless they knew every car on the lot. Period. End of story. Can I get you in the system real quick? I can, can you get me in the system real quick? Available. Come on, man. And, uh, do you have what, what type just of questions junk. you have other than if it's available? Yeah, I just want to see if you still got it. I'm, I'm over at another store right now. And before I made a decision, I want to see if you still have this one. Give me just two seconds here. Oh, motherfucker starts moving quick now. A minute ago, he wants to put me in the system, and all of a sudden, he realizes he got somebody on. Listen, don't ever make people prove to you that they can buy before you give them your best. Okay, if you take your notes, write that down. Don't ever make someone prove to you that they can buy. See, he's like, uh, get, uh, yeah, let me get your uh, number. I'll put you in the system. What does that mean? I just called to ask some information about a vehicle. Okay, he didn't get my name. Now he's asking for information to put me in the system. I don't want to get in the system. I want to get information, right? I'm trying to see if it's available. But then I just said, hey, I'm looking at another one across town. He's like, oh, wait a minute. It is available. Oh. Okay, awesome. And hey, guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm going to be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have trained with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not going to charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're going to train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's going to be three days straight. This room is going to be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA group stands for is the core values, the standards and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're going to be with these like-minded people and you're going to be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-0254. Five, four. Write it down. It's very simple. 918 210 0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. How many miles are on it? This one says 30,000. 334. So I'll have a remainder of the uh, factory warranty bumper to bumper plus the uh, powertrain. But I'll also get the engines for life to rest any car we sell with 75,000 or less miles qualifies for that. Okay. Yeah, I was really wanting to stay at 20,000 miles. I must have read that wrong. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you. Yeah. Um, let me see. I got another one. Hang on. Let's see if that one works for you at all. Can you do a brand new one? Uh, no. I'm looking at one with 20,000 miles right now. I just, I saw y'all's and 
I thought I'd call. I do have a blue LT that has 24,000. Yeah, I really like this color, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't I, if that's the color you're wanting, I, I don't have, I can do a brand new one with that, uh, but. Um, yeah, probably not for that price, though. Uh, if you give me your name and number, I can try it, and I'll call you right back, see if I can do it. Yeah. Okay, well, I really appreciate it, man. Um, I'm going to look at this one over here. I just wanted to call real quick. Okay, all right. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Michael. Michael, how long have you been selling for? Uh, I don't know, a few years. Okay, cool. Michael, do you think it was important that we should ask for the customer's name at the beginning of the call or at the end of the call? Yeah, I probably should have done it in front. My man, you got to build relationships. Number two, if I like the price on this car, I like the color on the car, but the miles are too high. Do you think that we should go into selling the vehicle, how nice it is, and literally it looks like it's got 5,000 miles on it. It's the nicest one in the country, and literally if I was sitting in front of it, I would mistake it as a brand new car. It's that nice. Do you think we could go into sell mode a little bit, yes or no? Yes. Okay. I love you, bro. Listen to me. Next time someone calls you, okay, do me a favor. Give them all you got, okay? Get their name early. Don't put them on hold. Give them reasons and excuses they should come down and buy, okay? Okay. All right, have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Guys, every single day, this, this, companies all around the world are wanting to make more money. They're wanting to make more profits. They're wanting to do better. They're wanting to increase their margins. How do we do that? Better customer service, training our people. I call it human capital. Who answered the phone? A human being. A human being that has sold for a while but doesn't know how to do their job right. I love these people. I love automotive people. But what I hate is the fact that we're in an era of everybody being an amateur. I'll make 10 calls. I'll be lucky to get one person that'll do it 50% right. The common practices, the things that we used to, they're called standards, that we used to live by these standards have just somehow faded away. All right, so what'd you think? Is he the best? I bet he thought he was. He's not the best. So my question is, question, we're gonna go to facts for a minute. There's facts and there's how you feel. Are you the top 1% in your industry? See, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I've been in the automotive industry for 20 years and I was crushing it. I was the top 1% in the industry. I had so much belief, so much power, so much conviction. I was the greatest at what I do. And then 2019, I watched the broker blueprint with Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi and I took this training course and it showed me how I could take what I was great at in sales. Sales was my superpower. I was so good at it, but wasn't very good at business. I'm just being honest with you. What my, what my greatest uh, a niche. There was a lot of people that weren't good at sales, but they're good at business. Well, so I took my superpower and I was like, oh my God, like I went from being the greatest and now I went to starting a new industry and I was like, oh man, how am I going to get to this next level? So I bought the broker blueprint with Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi and I wrote this down. Why is it important for you to be the best at what you do? Why? Why is it important? Well, number one, why it was important to me is because I got into coaching, training, teaching sales and self-development to change a lot of people's lives. I wanted to change more people people's lives. So when I started, I wasn't the best at what I did. Honestly, I went from being like the best to being the worst. But I had to learn, I had to self-develop, I had to train, I have to practice. And I wanted to go be that top 1% again, but in this industry. And honestly, I wanted to change and save more people's lives. That's what I wanted to do. I'm making this video for people that were like me, that knew they were capable for more, but that just couldn't figure out how to get there. So what I did is that in Oklahoma, I always, and I wrote this down, you don't wanna be the same as everybody else. There's all these people that are out there and they all are doing the same stuff and they're getting the same results and they're not, again, the top 1%. So I needed to do something different. I needed to be different. So I wanted to have what I thought would be the new 2020, you know, at this time 2019, but it's 2024 when I'm making this, Wolf on Wall Street, but for the best in the world and like a ministry and a church and changing people's lives and, you know, like teaching people to be financially free, to get free in their mind, to be good husbands, good dads, good parents, good leaders, right? Like I, that's what I wanted to bring. I wanted people to be physically fit, take care of themselves and you know, life's short, right? We got a lot to do. I wanted them to live a life that counted. So literally what I did is I started in Oklahoma. I'm in Oklahoma, I'm at the kitchen table. It's, it's me and my wife and we're watching the Tony Robbins, the broker blueprint, this training course that I started on. As I'm watching it, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna master this. I'm gonna learn this, but I've never done it before. So anything, it's like hula hooping, right? 
Like if somebody walked in here, gave you a hula hoop, and was like, hey, you know, be good at it. Like you just gotta get the reps in. You gotta practice, you gotta practice, you gotta practice. So I started making YouTube videos. I started getting out on social media. I started writing training curriculums. I started taking all the things that were in my head and I dumped it out on paper. And I literally went from the kitchen table to now we're in Oklahoma and I'm in a 700 square foot conference room. No lie, we were putting 100 people a month in this facility. Now, I, I have right now a 70,000 square foot facility where I live in in Scottsdale. We're building 20 million in new buildings, four new buildings as we go. My digital real estate is huge, but this was where I worked. This is where I walked into. I went from the kitchen table to walking into a 700 square foot place in Oklahoma. Then we moved to Arizona. I literally found an abandoned school. It was an elementary school that was abandoned. There was nothing in it. And me and my wife walked in and there was this big library that was empty and people would look at it and go this is nothing and we walked in and we go yes we can freaking put a thousand people a month in here this is gonna be amazing the whole school was abandoned we we branded the whole room we painted it our team built tables it was crazy guys I needed to go to the next level and the broker blueprint they trained me and they taught me how to think bigger how to go to new levels how to be good at business not only be good at sales and, and by the way I found many mentors that helped me go to new levels then after the school we decided to go to the next level so we go and our company goes and we find this new building it was a shell of a building there was nothing in it there was door, dirt floors there was no electricity there's nothing guys and you see me and my team spent the next 90 to 120 days we didn't sell anything we we, we we didn't work we just built we built we built we built as a team we built a culture in the broker blueprint it talked about how to build a culture how to build you know a, a team that you know couldn't be broken an individual can be beat but a team can't be beat so we built this awesome building we built out the entire infrastructure all the things that I wanted I wanted an awesome gym where we could all work out you know every day together um, I wanted a huge sales floor I wanted a massive seminar room that would hold everybody so every month we could use as many times as we needed these chairs the, the the future leaders of the world the general managers and the future business owners it's crazy man these chairs people come in here and they leave differently total immersion I envision these rooms it was amazing and so listen guys it's not about like where you're at it matters where you're gonna go and what I've learned is that people have crazy amount of potential it's just that most people never tap into it guys everybody needs a coach I'm one of the most coachable people in this world to this day Tony and Dean still coach and train me I want you to think about that right now we built a nine-figure business we've done all these things people say man you've made it bro I've never made it I've never made it are you kidding me life people I think that they think that you get to a certain point and then you stop guys there's no end and it doesn't mean that like I need more materialistic stuff I know that God made me to be great the better I become the more people's lives that I can change remember I told you this is my ministry okay you know what that means that means that God made me to help other people Okay, and a lot of people have helped me become who I am so I can help more people. And if you're watching this, just remember this, okay? As you're going through this and you're watching my journey in life, it's showing what's capable of your next journey in life. And then let's go downstairs. So to finish out the video, I wanted to show you, this is a seminar room that, I, we, that we have here at the Lion's Den that literally five, 600 people come every single month right multiple times and they sit in these chairs and they all change their life this all started with an idea now listen remember I was really good at something for 20 years I, I wish I would have had a better leader earlier in life and I just thought man you know what am I good at so I want you to think right now what am I good at what's my superpower what am I good at like do I know something that like someone else would love to know like do I know something like that I bet you guys do what is it well so I took that I watched this training series it totally changed my life I was a student I was really good at what I did I wanted to be the teacher I, I wanted to teach other people how to be successful like I was and in the end I never knew that it could lead me to being this successful I want you to understand this the coaching industry is a trillion dollar plus industry it's just insane and I want you to know a lot of people they really need your help I hope to inspire you during this video to wake up and realize that you're built for more you're capable of more and your potential is limitless and if you follow me I would love to help you along the way in your journey so I love you guys I just like to share things that are going on in my life and I hope that brings that back to your life guys keep following me I keep giving you guys great information to change the world Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.